guys, and welcome back to Actual Roxas and sometimes T Dog Play Art. And if you can't hear in the background or see from what you're looking at, there's been a few changes. Um, after the turkeys decimated my base, I took a few liberties and took a couple days off from actually recording to get a pretty good base set up. And we ended up doing a lot more than I expected. So I would like to give a little bit of a tour. And shout out to everybody that watches. Um, please give me a quick like, a subscribe, maybe hit the bell button. I'm looking to get like 50 followers. 50 sounds like a good number. That's a good goal to reach pretty soon. Um, within the next like four months, 50 followers should be fine. Uh, but on that note, Let's take a little bit of a tour of my base. Yeah, there it's lit up all green. Let's not let's not give any no spoilers. Uh, so we got a dodo pet dodo here. Actually, there is one of my followers who wants me to get a dodo army, and I was going to name this pet dodo after him if he would like that, which I can do. He also got a nice little puppy. Uh, we got just just a few new animals and a little bit new setup. We finally got our alchemy station. We have fabricator, smithy, place where I can uh, hatch eggs. And we got a cryopod. Yeah, all the things a growing base needs. And then we got a couple of Renios. Um, they're pretty easy to tame. Uh, this guy was really hard to tame. You just have to know how. We got a couple Mammoths. Fully functioning greenhouse. I do believe we still have plants growing. We do. Good. I'm going to have to check on that in a little bit um, before we do anything fun today. Well, I don't think we're going to be doing too much today. I'm just kind of giving a tour of the base and what's going on. So, over here we have Wisconsin. A little badger. Uh, we got iguanodons. We, we, we got a lot of stuff. We also have an army of these guys protecting our base along with the X plants that are targeting a couple of Allosauruses. My Carnosaurus never died, which I am very happy. Oh, I'm trying to hide the surprise. Which I'm very happy about. Whoops. Well, might as well get to the surprise right away. But yeah, my, my, my carnivore, Carnosaur never died, and I am very happy about that, because that turkey episode I was almost a hundred percent sure that she was gonna die but yeah here's the big reveal big surprise I have some really really strong you Tyrannuses. and when I mean really really strong I mean really really strong uh, yeah this is just my breeder no levels on it whatsoever and then this is this is my god mode. I've aptly named it god mode. For very obvious reasons. Those stats are ridiculous. On top of that, yeah, it walks pretty pretty fast, right? Oh I gotta I gotta level it. Let's use that real quick. We'll just throw that in. So I'm pretty fast when I'm walking. Yeah, but when I'm running, yep, this guy is so fast and powerful. I no longer have to worry about base defense, but I am going to go take care of my farm real quick, and then, oh, uh, T Dog and I, the reason why I got the original Eutyrannus, this girl, uh, cute Tyrannus, cutie Rannus, uh, is because we are working on 
doing the bosses very soon, and then moving to Scorched Earth within maybe a month or so. Uh, it shouldn't take that long, but both of us like our bases, and both of us really like the island, so we kind of like to hold on to that. Um, more on that later, but we are getting ready. We have a lot of Tyrannosaurus Rexes tamed and bred and getting mutations. So that's what's going to be going on in the next couple of videos. Uh, also, cave locations and just going through the caves and how to beat the caves. Other than that, I'm just going to be grinding out stuff uh, on my own time. Like getting the soups ready, doing all that, getting kibble, all that fun stuff. If there's anything specifically that people want to know, let me know because I can go over it. Uh, the last thing I need is a industrial cooker, and then I think I will be all set. And we're going to put that in the farmhouse because why wouldn't you? That's the perfect place to put it. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much, and I will be back with more stuff later. For the sake of educational purposes, we are going to go over a few things that you can do. Uh, you can do all of this inside of the cooking pot that you get, that you can make just right out of the bat. I keep a cooking pot like this around only for the fact that, uh, you can do the holiday stuff in it. You can get all the holiday stuff with it, uh, basically use your wishbones or whatever it is to get whatever prizes and whatever emotes and all that stuff. But we got an industrial cooker. And these guys are awesome. Um, but to go a little bit over what recipes and everything, um, just here doing a little inform uh, just here doing a little research. Uh, recipes can be used to craft dishes that grant temp temporary buffs or useful effects. Uh, like medical brew or stuff like that. Uh, you can also make dyes to m customize items, creatures, and structures. And then you can have customized special foods, or get you can create special foods like kibble or sweet veggie cakes. All of those have way better effects and taming than just regular meat and berries, which we've mostly been using. Uh, so I want to go over the recipe for each of these and we should have enough of the stuff to make all of this and yeah we're gonna start with endrio stew the effects are plus 35 melee damage plus 1.2 health per second so it increases your melee damage and it gives you more health now to make this you need 10 mojo berries or 10 purple berries Grab them off my elephant. We'll just grab the whole stack. We need, it looks like, two stimulants. Where did I put that stuff? Nine meats, cooked meat. Oh, grab the couple of things out of here. And for this segment, we will be doing cooking on Ark with Axel Snow. Uh, for the first five recipes that you need or that give you pretty good effects like movement speed or minus 85 percent oxygen consumption stuff like that for all of that stuff these are the ingredients you need you would need well first off you need water if you're doing it in a cooking pot other than that you need yellow berries blueberries lemons cooked meat corn purple berries narco carrots, potatoes, stimulant, and red berries. All of those are very easy to find. Uh, 
for the, our first recipe here, we are going to be making endor, endor, endo stew, which would be mojo berries, carrots, potatoes, stimulant, and meat. We'll get a couple of those going right away. take one out and then you guys can see the effects uh, quickly putting it it's plus 35 melee damage and plus 1.2 health per second unless your rates on your server are different all right and on to our next recipe we will be doing focal chili and focal chili is 10 of these guys 10 of these guys, <clears throat> 20 of those guys, 20 of those guys, 20 of those guys, 5 lemons, we'll just put them all in there, and meat, <clears throat> and meat. So it's 10 yellow, 20 of all the other berries, lemons, and meat, and then you got focal chili. What focal chili does is plus 25 movement speed and plus 100% crafting skill so if you have a slower crafting skill than most people make up a couple of these and you can start crafting stuffed out like crazy on to our next recipe doo, 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 doo. Lazarus chowder which uh, basically makes you breathe underwater and plus 1.2 stamina per second for a constant. Um, so for that we need 10 mojo, 5 carrots, we'll just throw them all in there, 5 potatoes, oh we're running out of potatoes, I'll go get some potatoes. Not running out of potatoes now. Five potatoes, two stimulants, and nine meat. There we go. Now Lazarus Chowder is good for underwater caves. That looks right, right? I got mojo berries, corn. Oh, I did carrots instead of corn. There you go. Lazarus Charter is good for underwater exploration, for doing those really pesky water caves, which is they, they can they can be pretty rough sometimes. It really helps out to have a couple of these laying around, especially if you're gonna go mine some oil underwater. <clears throat> and just all around in general, Lazarus Chowder is one of my favorite uh, foods that you can get. So I'm actually going to grab a couple extra than the other ones that I'm getting here. Do do. And then we'll take away the meat. I use those rather constantly. And we're going to grab some more carrots and berries real quick and some more meat. Well, we are. We'll leave that in there. And. I have all my stuff pretty well accessible. So just grab it. Dit. Dit. And dit. Come over here. Some more cooked meats. And grab some more veggies. We're we running low on. Uh, looks like corn.
Okay, so back to it. Our next one is Kalian Soup. Uh, protects from hypothermia, plus 50% hypothermic insulation, and minus 25% um, water consumption. So it makes you less thir thirsty. And for that, we need 10 mojo. We'll need 20, how do you even say that? Armor berry, armorer, yellow berries. We need 20 red berries or tinto berries. We need five taters, five potatoes. Two stimulants and nine meat, which is already in there, and we should get cooking. Oh, did I do that wrong? Oh, I definitely did that wrong. We have made so far... Andrew Su Stew, Focal Chili, Lazarus Chowder, and six health potions on accident. But what we need for the green soup, the uh, hypothermic soup, is twenty of those, ten of those, twenty of those, five of these, and two of these. And then we get our good old green soup. You can get you guys can pause it if you want to read the effects and everything. And for our last and final food. That is fire curry. We have plus 50 hypothermic insulation and minus 25% food consumption. Duration is 15 minutes. So for that, we need purple berries. We need blueberries. We need carrots and corn. And then we need narcotic and gasoline and then we should be getting fire curry there we go we'll make a couple of those real quick all right well i'm gonna go get more supplies from other places for the next bit actually no we can medical brew and energy brew are really easy so we can do that Medical brew is just this guy and this guy. And then you can get health potions galore. Really easy. Health potions help a lot. Never underestimate a health potion. Next, we have energy brew, which is blueberries. Um, I don't have any on me right now. It's blueberries and stim stimulant. That's all. Real simple to make, and those can help you out exponentially, especially if you get, like, torpor or if you get anything like that. You can take a couple energy potions, and you typically will be good to go, or it will help you. But yeah, let's make a couple of those. Throw that stimulant in there. Throw those blueberries in there. And energy brew. There you go. But yeah, I will come back with some more inventory for other things, like sweet veggie cakes are coming up. Uh, we have Shadow Steak Satay, Battle Tatar, Mind Wipe Tonic. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll come back with some pretty cool stuff, okay? We are out in the Redwood Forest. 
or as I like to call it, Thylacolio Country. And we are here to collect two things. We need sap and we need honey. Really cool thing about our little redwood base is we have it all pretty much ready to go. Uh, grab the sap to go and then we'll go to our little honey spot. Uh, T-Dog set all of this up and he did a really good job of making it very accessible. Nothing in there. And now we have set. Let's go grab our honey real quick. Hopefully we don't run into a thylo on our way over. We found this great spot. And instead of taming a bunch of them, we found about four or five different beehives that we can just take from. If you notice I'm wearing a ghillie undersuit, I should be wearing a full ghillie suit. But it is what it is. We're going to stop here. And we got a bunch of honeycombs. Just, just, just chilling. Some of them can't get to, but most of them we can. So I'm going to grab some honey. I'm going to throw this bug spray on. That saves me from getting eaten alive by bees. Is there any more? There's another one. Same one. I don't think I can get these. No. They're clipped in, but... But yeah, so then we got honey now. There must have been two there. Cool. So now we got honey and sap. And we will go back to base. Yeah. That simple. A little bit of bug spray. Saves you all the effort. You actually don't really need bug spray. It does a amount of damage. And you can really get away with it. Even at a lower level. But the bug spray always helps. And we'll go over that recipe in a little bit here. So yeah. Back to base. For our last recipe, we have the Mind Wipe Tonic. And for that, you will need 200 mojo berries, 20 rare mushrooms, 20 rare flowers, 72 narcotic, 72 stimulant, and 24 prime cooked meat. I went out and I got all that. And then we're going to throw her on. We might be able to get two of these. Nope. And so that should conclude everything. Um, on the next episode, I will start with the Broth of Enlightenment, which I could do now, but I think we've gone over a lot. And we have made quite a few things. Uh, so today we made the Battle Tartar the green soup, the endo soup, energy brew, focal chili, fire cur curry, Lazarus chowder, health, health potions, mind wave tonic, shadow steak saute, and sweet vegetable cakes. If you guys have any more questions or any questions about how to make any of those things or gathering the resources, please let me know in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.